Hi everyone! Uh, this is Victor with another screencast about Gretto. Uh, this time I'm going to show you several very popular use cases of Gretto. We will start with a simple project uh, that we would like to distribute as a zip file. Ok, uh, let's look at this chunk of code of this configuration. It's a very simple project. As you can see looking at our dependencies and at our plugins, it's written in Groovy and it uses Spock uh, for testing. It also requires two additional dependencies from Apache Commons, just for example. Okay. Groovy plugins that we apply to our project adds a lot of handy tasks. One of them is jar tasks. It's not hard to guess what jar task does, it creates a jar file. It might be handy in some cases to customize your manifest. For instance, uh, we might add such attributes as main class and class path to our manifest. It's not hard to do. We should configure our jar task, that's all. Ok, uh, there are a few things that uh, can be confusing. One of them is uh, our configuration. Uh, we haven't specified runtime configuration, but somehow it was added to our build file. The answer is Groovy plugin. When you apply Groovy plugin to your build.gradle, uh, it adds several configurations such as compile, compile test runtime and others. And when you add dependencies to a compile configuration, you will have it in your runtime configuration as well. As we need not only specify dependencies, but also alternative dependencies, we invoke resolve method. It resolves a dependency in graph and returns a list of files. Then we use gpass to get all names of our files and join them. One line of code, but it does so many things. Very nice. Now if we put all our jar files into the same folder with all its dependencies, we will be able to run it without specifying class pass or main class. That's what we wanted. But how to put it in the same folder? Let's create a new task for this purpose. Okay, this is a task that we added. We specified such parameters as type, it's a copy task, uh, and uh, we specified a uh, depends on. So when we execute distribution task, our task, it will trigger jar task, so our jar will be ready. We also specify where to copy our files to and which files to copy. So it's so simple. Finally. Uh, let's create a zip distribution of our project. So it's basically one more task to add. Ok, it's very simple, it basically just zips everything our distribution task uh, put in a specified folder. All dependencies. Ok, let's test it. Are we in our project? We have our build.gradle. Let's test our zip task.
Yep, as you can see, uh, jar task uh, was invoked and our distribution task too. As you can see, all our jar files, all dependencies, all transitive dependencies uh, were put to this folder by our distribution task. And the file is here too. Great. And the second example I'd like to demonstrate uh, is using AND. AND is very powerful. Too many libraries and tools provide custom AND tasks that you can use. Uh, for our second example, we will use LiquiBase uh, to perform database migrations. Well, let's create a Gradle file that will perform database migration for us. As usual, we specify our main central repository. Just copy to dependencies. Okay. Uh, we didn't apply any plugins, so we don't have any configurations except the default one. For our liquid base tasks, we will create a new one. Uh, so it's called liquid And then we add uh, two dependencies to our new created configuration, MySQL and liquid base. Now you can see that we can add our own configurations easily and that there is no magic in such configurations as compile or runtime. Gradle is very flexible. Okay, let's add a custom task for performing migrations. Okay, let's copy parameters of our database. It's better not to put uh, them right here. Probably we should create a settings.gradle for them or properties file. Uh, but for this example, uh, we will leave them here. Okay, to be short, I'm not going to describe every line of this task. Uh, Gradle uses AND Builder, Groovy AND Builder. If you're familiar with it, everything should be quite clear for you. So, AND Builder is injected uh, to your tasks. Everything should be clear except maybe one thing. We use the variable uh, uh, file in our build uh, file, but we haven't defined it. Uh, we are going to pass it as a parameter. So when we execute our Gradle command, we will specify uh, this file parameter. It will be something like this. Okay, that's all for today. Enjoy Gradle.